Oh boy, everyone, it's starting to look uh, more and more like a tractor here now, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, today's uh, video here, uh, we still need to fix that yet. I'm waiting on the parts for that. Uh, just an update there. Uh, battery, I've got a battery on order. Should be here in the next uh, few days, hopefully. So with that in mind, I went and picked up some uh, grommets here. And I'm thinking probably that big one there is probably going to be the one we need. Unfortunately, uh, when you get the grommets, they come in like kits of, I don't know, what is there, like a couple different sizes in here. There's 21 30 seconds. Let's see if it'll focus. Uh, focus. There we go. 21 30 seconds, 7 eighths, 1 inch, and 1 and 3 eighths. So the 1 and 3 eighths is probably the one I'm going to go for, uh, most likely anyway, because, again, we got to fit this through it and I don't eh one inch it'd be close it would be close might be able to get it we'll see once here again no need having a bigger hole than what we need we'll have to see once what'll fit but uh yeah like I said got a battery ordered so that is coming uh the battery that's ordered will definitely have no problem in fact I could probably fit four of the batteries I have on order coming in there uh compared to the two batteries that were in there that pretty much took up that entire battery box but the battery I have coming has Basically the same cranking amps as the two batteries that were in there. I believe the two batteries that were in there are like four, 400 maybe, something like that. 450, 500 at the most. So yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll get to that when they come. Might see if we can get some decals on this episode as well. We'll see once. Actually, I wonder if I should have it a little warmer in here for that. Hmm, don't know. Maybe I should wait for the weekend again and we'll really warm it up in here before I put the decals on. I'm not sure. I'll have to look and see if that matters or not. Uh, but yeah, got to have the decals on yet. Uh, we got to get the uh, fenders bolted on, and that's what, hopefully what we're going to be working on here this episode. Stopped by the hardware store on my, home, on my way home from work, picked up some bolts there. Those are three inch long. That should do the uh, trick here, so we're going to start with that here this uh, video. And yeah, we're definitely getting close to wrapping it up here. Uh, might even, uh, we'll see, let's see if we can maybe do something with the oil pressure sensor there. I uh, was debating how to put that in here. Wow, this uh, dash needs to be washed off. Um... Yeah, I don't really want to modify the original tractor here, so I wonder if we can make use of that hole there, because this that would clear that, wouldn't it? Might, uh, yeah, maybe this hole here might come in handy. We'll see once. Been kind of debating how to do that. Uh, the original one, actually, where is it here? Oh, it's uh, it comes out right here and kind of hangs out here. You, you can't even see it. it. It's absolutely useless and silly. If you ask me the way, actually, it's not even the original one. The original here is just the light up here, the idiot light, which doesn't work. Uh, the sensor's gone. I won't actually mind having both of them wired in. You'll have the sensor and the gauge, but I'll have to maybe see if I can figure that out. Yeah, basically, we need like some sort of T connection. I'd have to get another uh, sensor to uh, get it done properly. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's get started on the fenders here. Again, that's all I'm going to do with that for now. The uh, plan in the future, by the way, is to pull these rear tires off and paint those as well. Of course, clean them up. And uh, probably on that side, we'd like to actually replace, I don't know if there's an inner tube in these. Looking at the valve stem, yeah, pretty sure there's an inner tube because that looks like a, the inner tube off a of valve stem. So pretty sure there's an inner tube in there. So we want to replace the inner tube in that one because it is leaking if you look at the floor down here. That is, uh, that is coming from that tire there, that wetness. That tire there is leaking and it is pretty nasty to get around to this side here. 
uh, where, yeah, right, like right up in there. I don't know, can't probably see it real well. It's pretty nasty, so we do want to get that uh, tire off there and cleaned up. So that's one of the goals there. That's why I'm not going to bother uh, dealing with the wire. Once uh, once the wheels are off there, then we can uh, tidy that wire up real nicely and get back behind there and it be a lot easier. Uh, anyway, going to work on the battery box here now. Going to drill the holes for the wires to go through. Uh, if you recall, in the original battery box, there was, uh, was there two holes here? I think there was two holes here for the positive, or was there one? I think it was two on this side, if I remember correctly, on the original. And then there was one on this side for the negative. So I'm just going to do uh, one in each, because again, one battery here. The negative, of course, attached right there. I've got grommets for it. As I mentioned earlier, there, I had to buy two different packs here just so I can get the uh, grommet size I wanted. I suppose I could have gone online and got them too. That might have been, uh, probably would have been cheaper, but I would have had to wait to get them. So I uh, got a one and three eighths hole saw here. That should do the job, hopefully. I was debating maybe I should go one and a half on the hole, but we'll, we'll see once how the one and three eighths does. Thing is with a hole saw, once I drill the hole, I can't make it any bigger. So uh, one and three eighths is what it's going to be. So let's, uh, let's start drilling here. Okay, we got the uh, holes drilled, the grommets installed, and ran the uh, wires through them. I think that was just about the uh, perfect size there. Didn't have too much trouble getting the ends of the cables through. Obviously, uh, it's a little bit big for the wire, but again, got to get the ends through. So, yeah, I think that, uh, that turned out pretty good. Again, ready for the battery to be installed. Okay, and next, and for our final uh, trick for the night here, I want to put this uh, oil pressure gauge in here somewhere. Again, this is the uh, old oil pressure gauge. Uh, it pretty much just hangs out right here. Again, I, I took this uh, side panel off here. Uh, pretty much it just hangs out right here. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put this gauge, though. That's the only problem. I'd like to put it up here somewhere, but where... Yeah, where does one put a gauge up here that doesn't look uh, like weird? I mean, just setting it there, just, <laughs> I don't know, that don't look quite. Plus, you got to have a spot to run the wires and the uh, little pickup line here as well for the pressure. Uh, you know, I could put it down here, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a gauge. Uh, it's like, oh, put a gauge in so you can actually see what the pressure is because the idiot lights are no good. Well, what good's the gauge if you can't even see the gauge? I mean... And you're not going to see that from up on the seat there. You might as well have an idiot light then. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking the idiot light probably would have been the best way to go here without, uh, you know, messing this up too badly. I have to think about this. Yeah, what I might do, and they, they show this in the directions, and I mentioned this already, I think. They show a T-fitting. I think this would be the best route to go. Let's put the idiot light in with a T-fitting right here. Then we got both, and we can still maybe keep the gauge here. If you want to know what the actual pressure is, and you still have the idiot light that you can actually at least see because I don't know how to put a gauge up here without. Uh, idea being is don't want to, uh, you know, change this. You know, I don't want to be drilling holes in the dash. Otherwise, you know, if we did, it'd be like, that's probably almost enough spot space right there for a nice two-inch gauge. 
or even on this side as well. We could probably put an oil gauge if we wanted to, you know, to if you wanted to mess the dash up. But uh, again, don't want to do that. So we got to figure out how to install this without messing up the uh, dash. So for now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hook this uh, up. You folks have any good ideas where I can put this without, you know, destroying the dash, without drilling any holes, and I mean any holes, preferably. I was thinking about putting it here, but th it's just a little too close. This is the uh, PTO lever right here. It's just a little too close to that, plus I'd have to have somewhere still to run, you know, the lines yet. And there's, there's a hole there, but, you know, where do I put, where do I put the lines then? So anyway, like I said, I'm just going to hook this up for now, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Well, there we go, it's installed. Like I said, definitely need to come up with a better plan for that yet. Have to do some more uh, thinking on that. And again, there's a side panel that uh, goes right here, yet that's off at the moment. Uh, anyway, on that note, everyone, I think with that, we're gonna wrap it up for this video here. Uh, just a bunch of little odds and ends here we got done tonight. Uh, fenders are bolted on, got the uh, battery box ready to go. Oil pressure not really ready to go. We're gonna figure that one out some more yet, but uh, yeah. On that note, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.